like to welcome you to the third chapter of the book of Zephaniah. We'll continue in reading the Greek. O e epiphanis ke apolali tromeni polis hyperistera. O the prominent, the epiphanis. We have the word epiphany as an English derivative. Prominent. Uh, epiphany is a uh, manifestation. It's used as for the epiphany of uh, rival of Jesus in great glory, prominent uh, return. It's not just uh, somebody is returning and home and nobody knows about it, uh, but it's a epiphany, a prominent return. And ransom polis, metropolis being the derivative, and we again see the purple or blue uh, highlighted. Uh, Articles, the definite articles uh, in the nominative couldn't be nominative uh, feminine, as in the case of the ones in the top line. Uh, in the uh, singular or in the plural, and uh, could be uh, masculine, feminine, and neuter. And uh, so the uh, the dove, the prominent city, the dove. 3 2, it continues, uk isikuse phoni su, uk edexato, pi dian epi to kirio, uk apepithi, ke proston theon aftis uk egisen. So it's talking about uh, Jerusalem here and uh, the ransom city, the prominent God ransomed his people and uh, made them this choice chosen people and put them in to the city of Jerusalem through uh, David taking over this Jebusite city and making it his capital, the city of David, Zion. And, uh, but they uh, did not uh, adhere to the things of the Lord. It says, uk, isi kuse, the iku, we have acoustics, uh, she did not listen. And the is makes it uh, more towards in the ins inside, taking it in, not only a, a vocal in the ear, but inside. She did not listen, or hearken could be another uh, word you could use here. She did not hearken to your phonies, the telephone, the voice. She did not take instruction. She had not relied upon a p epidermal upon the skin, epi, uh, the kirio, the lard. And two, pros, we have prosthetic, uh, something that's towards the body. It's not pro. Pro is before, but pros is uh, more attached. And two, uh, her god, theon, theology being the derivative, she did not approach. So the city of Jerusalem didn't listen to instruction and did not even approach to God. They even set up idol worship and uh, went to other gods during this period of time and before. In verse 3 it continues, E archontes aftis en afti os leontes oriomeni, e crite aftis os liki tis aravias, uc e peliponto is to proi. Her rulers, archontes, we have uh, archons, uh, the uh, monarch comes from that word in the uh, archon. Her rulers are among uh, her, or as leontes, lions, almost a direct transliteration, roaring, oriomeni. Uh, her judges are as wolves of aravias, you know, direct translation, transliteration into Arabia. They did not remain behind into the morning. So there, these people that were doing these things uh, weren't continuing doing what they do, did. They didn't remain because uh, of God's changing the situation. The verse 4, it continues. E profite aftis pnevmatofori andres. Cataphronin te irisaftis. I'm sorry, uh, I, the, the break there wasn't very good. Her prophets, the prophete, uh, are men. Andres, we have android. Uh, pnevmatophori, we have pneumatics, uh, has to do with wind, air. Pnevma, number 4151, and uh, phori, 
uh, phosphoric, light-bearing, the phoric, 5409 uh, is that word. Uh, the men are carried by the wind. Uh, they are despisers, kata phronite. Uh, they're against. Kata is uh, the prefix for against, and phronite, phron, has to do with the mind, the frain, opinion. Uh, they are despisers. Iaris aftis vevilusi ta agia. Ke asavusin is ton nomon. Her priests, the uh, Iaris, uh, were uh, hieroglyphic, uh, chiefly writing, priestly writing, uh, are profane. They profane the holy things, or the sanctuary, and they are impious against the nomon, the law, astronomy, being a derivative. O de kyrios, dikeos, en meso, aftis, ke umi pc adikon, proi proi, thosi krima aftu is fos, ke uk apekrivi, ke uk egno adikian in apaitisi, ke uk is nikos adikian. But the Lord, the kyrios, is righteous. The righteous Lord, in this case, is an adjective, in the, is in the midst of her, in, the preposition, uh, meso, Mesopotamia, the middle. Meso is a common uh, prefix in English, something in the middle. Uh, but the Lord is, the uh, righteous Lord is in the midst of her. In no way shall he do. The P, we had that before with the poet, uh, one doer, uh, he did not. He shall not do a an unjust thing. Morning by morning, he that is uh, Yahweh executes judgment. Krima, uh, crime is a derivative and has to do with uh, the judicial system. His judgment is in phos, uh, light, phosphoric, uh, light bearing, as we mentioned earlier, phos. And it was not concealed. So his judgment, everything he does is not concealed as the, the things that of Satan are all in the dark, but God is in the light. And he does not know injustice, egno. Then we have the gnostics, the knowers. Uh, he does not know injustice by ex exaction. Uh, he's not uh, bribed with a uh, bribe. And uh, injustice, and neither injustice by altercation. Nobody's going to force his hands to uh, be afraid and ju judge unjustly. And 3.6 continues. Katespasa iperifanus ifanis the son gonie afton exerimatso tas odus afton to parapan to me, the Odevin, Exelipon, a polisafton, the Ato Medena, a parking, me they katikin. Says, I tore down the proud, the Iparifanus. Uh, There's the orange, that means you can add that in English derivatives. It doesn't appear there if you'd like. And uh, it comes from the two words, hyper and phenomenal. Uh, hyper, uh, the hyper and phanus uh, is uh, something that's, uh, you can see it, that's uh, obvious. And so the super obvious, the proud, uh, their corners were obliterated. Iphanis, the son, the phanis, uh, the phan has to do with a uh, phantom. Uh, they were obliterated, became uh, invisible more or less. Uh, I shall make quite desolate, that sh maybe should have been highlighted, the airy mo, the hermit, uh, and then x, uh, making it even more so, uh, quite desolate. I will make quite desolate her their ways, the o Zeus. Uh, cathode being a derivative uh, uh, of a way of a current, uh, thoroughly, so as to not travel through. So God is going to destroy, uh, do things into Jerusalem so as people could not even travel through it. Uh, it was destroyed by the Babylonians who were coming after this period of time. Uh, 
and then it was again destroyed in 70 AD by the Romans. Which time he's talking about here, we'll have to see by the different uh, clues that we are given. Uh, their cities vanished, uh, polis, metropolis, uh, van by reason of no one to exist nor to dwell in them. This happened in all the cities of that area in uh, Israel and Judah where uh, no one was living there and for uh, the period of the Babylonian captivity and the Roman, after the Roman era. 3.7, it continues. Epa plin, fovis the me, ke vexas the pythian, ke umi exolothrevthiti, ex ophthalmon aftis. Panta osa, Exadikisa epavtin etimazu or three zone the ephthorte pasa e epiphilis afton. And he said, I said, furthermore, fear me, the fove, fovos, uh, fear, phobia, fear me and receive instruction. And in no way shall you be utterly destroyed before. Her eyes, ophthalmon, the uh, her being the uh, the uh, be possibly as the city of Jerusalem in her eyes, uh, these other places, and the ophthalmon we have ophthalmology. So uh, said he's God saying to fear him and that you won't be destroyed uh, as Jerusalem was for. Oh, Panta, as much uh, vengeance as I brought upon her. And so uh, God is bringing this vengeance against Jerusalem. Prepare, rise early. All their gleaning is ruined. Sort of a, the prophecy that Jesus gave of the time of um, the Roman legions coming and how to flee into the mountains and uh, all these things are bad things were going to be happen and the uh, Jesus says on the way to the cross about if these happen in the uh, uh, green grass imagine what's going to happen in the dry in verse 3 8 it continues on account of this whale uh, the atuto ipo me known for me says legi kyrios isimeren anastasios mu is martyrion, the otitocrima mu is synagogas ethnon, to is dexas the vasilis, to ekhe ep aftus, tin orgin mu, pasen orgin thi mu, the oti empiri zilu mu, katanalothisite, pasa i ye. Uh, so says the Lord, for the day, the emera, emera of ephemeral, of my rising up, the Anastasios, uh, the Anast Anastasis was a ship that was around, uh, has to do with the rising, the rising of Christ. Is that what he's talking about, the day of my rising up? Or is he talking about here at uh, rising up as um, uh, God, uh, sovereign God, the Almighty, the Pentacrator over uh, the people uh, in might. Uh, his rising up could be either one so far. For a testimony, a martyrion. We have a martyr as a uh, person that uh, witnessed something. For the judgment, my judgment, crema, we, crime, shall be for a gathering, a synagogas, a synagogue, a gathering of ethnon, of uh, nations to take kings, vasilis, to pour out upon them, the basilica being the derivative for the kings, to pour out upon them all of my anger, or gain. And uh, so uh, this uh, rising up and then afterwards, this judging of nations, uh, the after the Babylonian captivity, the people came back to Jerusalem, but there was no uh, judgment of nations that I see that happened there. And the Romans took over afterwards, and uh, things got worse for them. And uh, 
uh, when they came back from this captivity. But then it talks about after his rising up, then there's going to be this gathering of nations. So I don't see that as uh, the, Ro or the Babylonian or the Roman period. I, to me, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, what do you think? It says, all of my anger, the anger of my rage. We mentioned that in the last chapter, the orgin, the anger, the themu, fume. And we uh, went over that in uh, the uh, pamphlet on the day of the rage of the anger uh, of the Lord, or the day of the, uh, the anger of the Lord. Uh, for, we'll go here and I'll follow these numbers, for all, one, uh, the earth, the gi, geology, uh, four, shall be consumed, five, by, six, the fire, and the is added by myself, and the italic shows that, piri, a pyromaniac, pyre, a fi, a fi, a pyre, the fire of my zealu, that's a direct transliteration in the, from zeal, so it's all going to be because of God's zeal. In verse nine, it continues, uh, Otipote metastrepso epileus glosen is genian aftis to epicaliste pontus to onomakiriu to dulevin afto iposigon ena. For then I will transfer epi upon uh, epi uh, upon uh, laos, the peoples plural, uh, laity, one tongue. It doesn't say one tongue. It could be a tongue. For I will transfer upon peoples a tongue for her generation. Uh, the glosson. Here we have a glossolalia. It has to do with the static speech is what the English word means. But what is it talking about here? I will transfer upon uh, peoples a tongue or one tongue for her generation. Genian, a generation. It's almost a direct transliteration. For all to call upon uh, epikalis the to uh, epi upon and call call upon uh, all pon to call upon the name onoma onomatopoeia was a derivative uh, has to do with a uh, uh, word taking the sound. Uh, spelling of the sound or a nomenclature, the name of the Lord, Kiriu, the Kiriu Leson, uh, derivative, to serve him under Ipo, hypodermic, under his hypo, under one uh, yoke, uh, zygon, uh, zygote, for the people that are in the biology, a spore formed by two gametes, so the dictionary says. I'm not a scientist or a biologist, but that's a zygote. I remember that in high school biology, so it kind of remembers it has something to do with, uh, 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 this is a yoke. It has to do with a, uh, and in this case, it has to do with the yoke that the uh, oxen had the wooden stock that they would put on the shoulders of the oxen, and two, uh, two uh, oxen would pull. And so uh, all upon, I will transfer upon the people's one tongue, so they're going to be under one uh, one yoke. Uh, what's it talking about here? Could he be talking about the ecclesia, the New Testament, the church, uh, speaking in the, in, but they were speaking in uh, the tongues, plural. So uh, I'm not quite sure in there, uh, but uh, under one yoke. Interesting there. Uh, we could have done, you can, might want to go up and look under 2218 in the lexical concordance and see how that's used in the New Testament. I haven't uh, done all of these words. It would take me forever if I looked up every word and got uh, all the different uh, usages in it in the different test testaments, but we will be going through all these words and putting them together in the word and the word uh, pamphlets, but uh, these words have uh, not yet been uh, done. I might have done glosin. Uh That would have been a good one to do, but I didn't, so we'll just continue here. Another one you could study is the 1100, the tongue. Uh, so 310, it continues, ek peraton potamon aethiopias ipodexome tus the asparmenus mu isusi thesiasmata emi. So from ek, uh, from eccentric, from the center, ek, from those limits of the rivers, the potamon, the 
Potomac River and uh, Washington, D.C. River River of Ethiopia. I will welcome the ones of mine having been dispersed. They shall bring sacrifices to me so the people that have been uh, dispersed are going to come back from what I see right here uh, that are uh, from the limits of the rivers of Ethiopia uh, all down through uh, Egypt. Many of the Jews after Jeremiah fled into uh, Egypt and spread around in that area. And one part of Alexandria, one quarter was uh, the Jewish quarter. 311, it continues. N.T. Imera Akini Umi Katai Skin This Ek Panton Ton Epitivmaton Su On Isevisas Is Eme Oti Pote Perelo Aposu Ta Favlismata Tis Ivreo Su Ke Uketi Mi Prostis Tu Megalahise Epi to oros to agion mu. In, preposition, in that emera, day ephemeral, uh, in no way shall you be disgraced from all, uh, pa ek, uh, from panton, all of your practices, which you were impious against me. So they're no longer going to be disgraced. God's not going to cause them uh, to be destroyed or anything because they are going to be changed. And they're not going to be the same people that uh, were in the days of the destruction of uh, Israel with the Babylonians and the Romans. Uh, but they're going to—it's going to be different. For then I shall remove from Apo, from you, apology, a word from uh, you, the careless attitudes of your insolence. They had an insolence. Uh, that they knew everything, that they had the truth, that they were the chosen people. And therefore, uh, they became uh, careless, having this type of uh, title put on your, you or yourself. And you start thinking that you are what this title is, even though uh, it's really the title is offered or given to you by some other power. You, know, you can be a king that has been uh, had the crown put on because of heredity, or you can be a president who has been uh, voted in, or you can be, in this case, a chosen people. But this attitude of this uh, can get out of whack. And in this case, uh, they became insolent and careless towards it. And no longer should you proceed to make great brag over my holy mountain. That's interesting. You're not going to be, it's not going to be uh, Jerusalem, theirs only, but it's, uh, it's going to change. Uh, they're not going to have this bragging over the, this mountain, Oros. We have an or, orology is study of mountains. Verse 13, it can, uh, 12, it continues. K ipolipsome and C leon prain. K tapinon. K evlavi thesonte apo tu onomatos kiriu. And I will leave behind among you or in you, it could be in, uh, a gentle prain. Here's a, a pronunciation. Uh, that's a little bit different than we had the diaresis and where the uh, alpha epsilon are together, uh, but the uh, it's not an off. It would normally be if it didn't have the double dots above the epsilon, but it does. So you split this into two separate vowels and pronounce each one of them. So it's pra in a gentle people, leon, a laity, and humble, and they shall show reverence at the name, the onomatos, onomenclature of the Lord. 3.13, Ikatalipi to Israel, ke u piisusin adikian, ke u lalisusi matea, ke u mi ev rathi en to stomati afton, glosa, tholia, vioti afti, nemisonte, ke Kitas thesonte ke uk este o ekfovon aftus. The remnant, there is the nominative, the subject, the remnant of Israel, 
and they shall not piesusin do or commit in this case forty one sixty the poet iniquity. So it's going to be different. They're not going to be uh, doing iniquity in this at this period. God somehow is going to uh, cause this uh, state to be. Uh, and they shall not see, uh, speak. Lali, Susi, we have a lali, a glossolalia, ecstatic speech is a derivative. They shall not speak vanity. And in no way should there be found in uh, their stomati, the mouth, the stoma, stomatic, have in their mouth a deceitful glossa. The glossa is a tongue. And it also has to do with the language. Uh, this study of the glossa and the dialect uh, tos uh, is interesting uh, with languages and tongues and how they correspond to each other. Uh, should you take it literal for a tongue or should you take it figuratively for a language? And it gets into glossolalia in the New Testament of this uh, language uh, during the uh, day of Pentecost of what they were speaking in these uh, languages and glossa, but it says the uh, they're speaking uh, that it mentions the languages that they were speaking. Speaking it, so uh, the tongue is could be uh, it could is also language, uh, a deceitful uh, speech. For they shall be so that for they shall feed, and shall lay in bed, and there will not be one ekphovon frightening them. The, Ek fovon, the fear, and the ek uh, heightens it, frightening them. 3.14. Hyadere thigatir sion. Kiri say thigatir Jerusalem. Ephrainu ke kataterpu. Ex olis tis kardia su thigatir Jerusalem. Hyadere, cheer. Rejoice, hire, cheer is a derivative. Thigatir, daughter and the Thigatir, O daughter of Zion, Sion. Kirise, proclaim it out loud. O daughter of Jerusalem, um, be glad. Ephrenu, we have Ephrasy to delight, is the English derivative. Uh, be glad and delight yourself with. Uh, one, your entire heart. Olis, Catholic. Uh, we have uh, the Catholic, the Olic, all. Uh, whole, holo is a uh, prefix. With your entire, cardias, the cardiac arrest, the heart. O daughter of Jerusalem. And it continues. Peri ile kyrios ta adikima ta su. The Lord removed your offenses, the Atikamatasu. He has ransomed Lelitrote. He has ransomed you, Ak Heros, from the hand, the chiropractor is the derivative, from the hand of your enemies. Ak thrown su. Vasilefs Israel, Kyrios and Meso su, Uk Opsi Kaka Uketi. The king uh, of Israel, the Lord, I put the, the king in here, uh, a king of Israel, the Lord, doesn't quite sound, uh, make sense, but uh, the king of Israel, the Vasilefs, the Basilica, the Kyrios, in Meso, Su, you shall not see Kaka, bad things any longer. Into Cairo, Aquino, Eri, Kyrios, T, Jerusalem. Tharsi Sion, me paristosen e hires su. In that time, says Kyrios to Jerusalem, Tharsi, be of courage, Sion. Do not neglect uh, your hands, hires su, the chiropractor, the, again, the, do not neglect your hands. Uh, well, Sometimes this has this hands had to do with uh, collecting money and giving alms in other places, and it was a sort of a figure of speech. Do not neglect your hands. Be of courage, and uh, and do things. Three seventeen continues. Kyrios o theosu in si o dinato sosi say 
epaxe api se afrosini ke kaini se enti agapisi aftu ke afron thesite epi si en terpsi os en imera iortis kyrios o theosu en si o dinatos the mighty dynamic sosi it's uh, he shall deliver you uh, we uh, new testament to king james it was a uh, save uh, and in many places, uh, the salvation saving has to do with uh, eternal, or when you cross over from death into uh, being with Christ. And this, so this thing is being, you're being uh, saved. And I like deliver way better because uh, delivering uh, is, uh, it's not uh, in the Old Testament. Many, many places it has nothing to do with this uh, step over from one uh, part of uh, life into this other part after the uh, death of our bodies, but uh, the deliverance. But in this case, uh, the mighty one shall deliver you. And this is he talking here about this uh, change over? Is he talking about delivered Zion being delivered and changed over? Well, that's what I believe it's talking about here. He shall bring upon you Ephrosini, um, gladness, euphrasia, delight. And shall revive you in his agapisi. There's the agap with the love and his affection. And uh, he shall be glad. The ephrasi, in this case, he shall be glad. Uh, epi over you. And with terpsy delight as in emera. Uh, the ephemeral is in the, in the um, day of the holiday. I added feast. Because uh, that's what they were. Uh, the holiday, 318. It continues. K sinaxo tus sin tetrimenu su ue tis eleven ep aftin only these moan, and I will gather the sinax uh, sinaxo the synagogue as a, a noun. Here's a verb uh, to gathering. Uh, your ones being broken. Uh, Oye, uh, woe, anyone, any taken, scorning upon her. So God is going to take the broken and, uh, and the scorning away. And then 319, uh, Ethu, ego, pio, and si. Behold, I, the ego, ego, uh, personal pronoun, I will act, pio, the doing, uh, in you. I will act in you because of... You, Anakin Su, in to Cairo, Aquino, que soso teen ek pepies manin, que teen apos manin, is vexome, que thisome aftus is kavhima, que onomastus in pasi tigi. Because of you in that time. And I will, again, so so. Uh, deliver her being pressured. And it's not s save could be well uh, used, but I will I like delivered. And I think that's a more accurate uh, word. Uh, her being pressured. And I will take her being thrust away. So um, these people that have been pressured, uh, that have been thrust away uh, by what, himself and other peoples, and I will establish them for boasting and fame in all the earth, or the, here land, but to me, to me it seems like earth is a better choice because it's uh, more broad with all these nations. I will establish them for boasting and fame. That's a wonderful, it's beautiful, and this people of uh, Jerusalem, of Israel, uh, are no longer going to be shrugged off and cast out of other countries and go through these horrible persecutions throughout the history and uh, uh, all of a sudden he's going to establish them for boasting and fame uh, in the all the earth and k katai skin thesonte in to kairo akino oten kalos imin piso K in to Cairo, Oten is vexome imas, the oti doso imas onomastus. 
que is kafkima in pasitis leis tis gis ento epistrepfin tin aikmalosian imon enopion imon legi kyrios and their enemies uh, shall be disgraced in that time. So the people that are against uh, Israel will be disgraced whenever I should do well with you. And in the time whenever I should take you in, that's what's going to, there, whenever this happens, uh, it's going to be a, a change. For I will make you famous, onomastus, onoma is a name, uh, onomatopoeia with a name, ono, or a, a pronoun, ona, uh, famous, and for boasting in all, among all the peoples, uh, so in all the earth and now among all the peoples, the laes, the laity of the Gies, so it's not only, uh, uh, it's going to be among all the peoples, in my returning your captivity before your eyes says the Lord so this captivity of uh, returning returning where returning to Israel uh, it's going to happen and something is going to happen that is going to cause people to take a notice uh, that uh, in other places is the Lord says that he's doing this not because they're a great people but because he wants uh, the world to know that he is the Lord. And legi kyrios. So this uh, time of restoration of Israel into a, being a famous people, I don't see it has happening yet. And uh, we're waiting to see this wonderful time, uh, waiting for it, and believe in it, and it will come, and we thank God. And um, this was uh, the book of Zephaniah. And I hope you will continue with us on the uh, next book. I believe it's going to be Habakkuk. And uh, we'll see you then. God bless.